right, so I'm going to do a video for you guys on this binder that I just picked up, and we'll see how it goes. This is a Franklin Covey Olivia binder, and I bought it for these. These are one-inch rings, but the main reason I bought them is because of this, the Flat Rat Lovers, which are more typical of the Filofax binders, although Franklin Covey does have some of them in the pocket size and occasionally in the compact size. But it's pretty rare to find them in the classic size. I think I've only seen this binder, the Olivia, and there was a gingham model. It came in like blue and purple and had gingham on the inside and I've seen them in the, that model too. So I've been hunting either of those binders down just to get these rings. One inch is perfect for me. It's actually a little bit too big. I prefer the three quarter of an inch, but I really prefer these. I'm tired of getting my hands and my wrists caught on the lumpy lovers that Franklin Covey uses. So in terms of the Olivia, um, I actually like the purple more than I thought I would. Purple is one of my least favorite colors, but this is much more gray toned, so it's more palatable for me. And it has a really cool feature that I had not heard anybody mention before. It's got this turn lock clasp, but the turn lock clasp, when you push on it, locks itself. I thought that was pretty spiffy. A little mechanical genius there. So that was fun. The hardware isn't a shiny nickel. It's more of a burnished nickel look. So kind of like that too. It's a very stiff binder. Um, there's no give or flex to this. You'd have to break it down intentionally, I think. Um, it's lined in this gray lining that has silver metallic squiggles on it. It's actually kind of attractive. It catches the light just right. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera or not. There are the five card slots, along with the, including the ID pocket. It has one elasticated pen loop, which tends to pull the pen inward, but can also be shifted outward if your tabs are in the way. Now, at the request of someone, I actually put in a replacement set of rings that are bigger than the one inch because they were curious. And so those are put in. Um, they're not going to stay, obviously, because they belong to a red binder. It's got red leather lining on that. But um, the 1.25 inch replacement ones work just fine. Let's see if you can see that. There's actually plenty of room for both the pen and the inserts right there. You can see that. Um, I would guess you might even be able to get away with doing one and a half inch because the pen for, is pushed by the elastic just a hair away from the inserts but I think you could probably get away with slightly bigger rings because this is a very generous clasp. There's quite a bit of give there, and I think the, there's enough room. So that's the ring situation on this binder. The back area, let's see if I can get that in focus again, um, has a zip pocket, a gusseted zip pocket, so you could put lumpy things in there if you'd like. And then this is a secretarial flap, so you can tuck tall stuff. I love that. That's actually... One of the other things that attracted me to this binder is the fact that there are two secretarial flaps. I love secretarial flaps because then you can tuck in things that are a little bit taller than the binder with no issues. And then here's another view of the clasp. Like I said, a nice, big, generous thing there. And then here's the back. Nice, basic, trimmed double stitching. So this binder is in pretty good condition, given that I'm guessing it's probably at least six years old. And although I don't dislike it, I can't say that I love it. So I'm stealing the rings and I will eventually swap in some other rings to it and sell it. But I wanted to give an overview because I don't think that there's any videos on this particular model. So I thought I'd share. Thank you very much.